Welcome back to another video everybody. Honestly, there's been just so much going on over the past couple of months and I don't even know where to start so I'm just going to dive right into it and see where this video takes us. The past couple of months have been a very significant time for change and adjustment for me. Probably the biggest of these changes has been adjusting to my new role as a captain for the Ecotour company that I work for. I really enjoy this job, I love it so much, but it's just been a huge learning curve for me and I still have a lot more to learn. I am a perfectionist and a people pleaser, which has made adjusting to my new job pretty difficult because I want everything to go smoothly and I want everything to be perfect. It's also the reason why you haven't seen a new video recently. I have had a couple chances to get out and try to film videos, but they just haven't turned out perfect. And when that happens, I typically just scrap all of the clips total. So that's something I'm really trying to work on. And I've learned that perfection is not always gonna be the case, especially when you're taking people out the climate's always changing, your conditions are always changing, and I mean, everything's just changing. On the topic of change, I feel like my whole life is changing before my eyes. I'm 19 years old, so I'm in that transition into adulthood, and I feel so clueless. I feel like there's so much that I need to know that I don't know, and they can get very overwhelming at times. I'm on a very different path than most kids my age, and I'm trying to stick with my passions and follow what I love but this is also a huge risk because there's no guarantees in life. Needless to say, I find myself getting caught up in my own thoughts and stressing myself out greatly, which is something that I'm sure most people my age can relate to. And at every stage in life, you're gonna have issues. It just matters how you deal with them. For me, getting lost in nature is the best way to reflect and correct those negative thought patterns. So I've been spending a lot of time in the woods trying to reconnect with my younger self. Growing up in the Charleston, South Carolina area, I always found myself drawn toward the tidal salt marsh just because those were the waters that were closest to me and I was most comfortable with them. However, there is so much more to explore in South Carolina, including what seems like endless freshwater environments. When you visit one of these vast freshwater ecosystems, it's like traveling back in time, a time when nature took its course uninterrupted. And it feels like I have no control when I'm out there, and the truth is I do not. And that's why I find it so addicting because there's no priorities when you're out there and you get this almost humbling experience. There we go. All right. Hey, look at that. Big old bowfin right there, guys. Really, really cool. Super muscular. Very tough to handle, but that is a living dinosaur. Prehistoric, check out that false eye on the tail. About a three, four pounder. There he goes, awesome.
There he is, not happy with me in the slightest. Big old mud monster. See ya. Oh my, that's a big one, a fat one. It's a fatty. Whew. You're a healthy one. Dun, 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 dun. Get out of here. There we go. Is that a pickerel? <laughs> yeah, it is a pickerel. Look at that little guy right there, a little chain pickerel. Absolutely crushed the, the top water crawfish, little weightless crawfish that I had. Just chucking it around, and sure enough, buddy right there was hungry. See you later, you little snot rocket. With spring in full effect, everything has been out and about acting extra weird, which has made for some pretty interesting wildlife encounters. I managed to get a few of these on camera, so check them out. Okay, we are long overdue. This one is right in the sun. This one just looks good. It looks warm, it looks cozy. Come on, snake. Yes, yes, check that out. Copperhead sun. Absolutely gorgeous too. Look at that thing. So these guys are one of the few venomous species in South Carolina. They are very beautiful. So I never understood why snakes were given the reputation as being aggressive and scary and evil. I mean, just take a look at this dude. Straight up chilling, doesn't care about me at all. Not in the slightest. Literally posing for the camera. I've really got a soft spot for these copperheads. They're very common, but they're just so cool. You really can't beat the patterns that they have. It's very rare in nature where you find that orangish, rusty, bronze color, and I just absolutely love it. It's awesome. But yeah, don't want to get bit by this one because he is very spicy, or she. I don't know how to identify between male and female, but that's really awesome. Here you go. My friend, we're just going to slowly cover you up. As you guys can see, there's a couple of ant hills that have higher elevation, so I'm not setting tin directly on this guy. And even if I did, it would be just fine. They can squeeze through the tiniest of cracks. But I'm just going to flip this very, very lightly back on them. And we will be good to go. Shooting under for the tin. There we go. Perfection. Gar. Oh man, I'm disappointed. Oh, I, I thought I was. There he is. Or is that a fish he got? I think he got a fish. I thought it was a. Yeah, he's eating a fish. Listen to that. Yeah, he was eating that dead gar that we saw. He was just scavenging. Pretty cool. It's a very, very good sized alligator. If you've made it to the end of this video, then thank you so much. It takes a lot of time and effort to go out and film and edit these videos, and just having a couple of y'all making it to the end makes all the difference for me. I want to give a huge shout out to Waterland Fishing Optics for sponsoring this video. If you guys are in the market for some high performance fishing sunglasses, I could not recommend them more. I actually have a code that you can use at checkout to save a little bit of money on all of their stuff. I'll pop it up on the screen real quick, so if that interests you, give it a look.
And that's a wrap on this video, y'all. As always, tight lines, and I will catch you in the next one. Stay hooked.